Take a look at this uh, chart. It's very interesting. This is cash spending on defense in 2023 and defensive EPA um, per play. So the y-axis is EPA per play allowed. Um, x-axis, 2023 defensive cash spending in millions. So <laughs> you see the Browns spending, but they're getting really good results as they are that upper right quadrant, whenever we show you these, that that's where you want to be. Um, the Ravens are not spending a lot and still getting good results. Uh, but the two defenses um, that are playing uh, for the two teams are the two best via you know, EPA per play defensively. Yeah, and you, it's a situation where the Browns have drafted well, adding Miles Garrett, Greg Newsome, Denzel Ward, Martin Emerson, uh, and they've been able to pay guys like Miles and Denzel. Obviously, they added guys in free agency, um, Zadarius Smith, Dalvin Tomlinson, whereas Baltimore, they got a young defense that they've drafted well and helped develop. They've added some key free agents, but it's a scenario where, you know, Baltimore is going to have to pay some guys soon. I mean, if they're going to have to keep keep riding that ship, obviously Kyle Hamilton's off to a good start to his career. That's a guy they'll have to pay in a couple of years. Patrick Queen, will they pay him even though they paid Roquan Smith? That's to be determined. And Justin Matabike, who's got seven and a half sacks as a D tackle, was another one of their young draft picks. They'll have to pay them. So at a certain point here in a couple of years, they may have to uh, move over to that right quadrant just like the Browns where – they drafted well. Now, will they turn around and pay them, or will they eventually draft their replacement? So it is a tale of two uh, defenses, but I think both sides have drafted quite well, and it's paying off big time as I think they're the best two defenses in the league right now.